win rate at 12.5 KDA. This has been huge. And even like for a lot of picks on BLG you haven't seen before, right? Yago hasn't really played the Nautilus. The last time we played it was in 2020. A long, long time ago before we've seen this run. Yeah. And you have to question the, the change of styles from Yagao as well, because he has always been somewhat of a supportive mid laner. But in the finals against JDG, Yagao had a couple of pretty rough games towards the end of that series, playing on the Syndra, playing on these carries. Did get his Wolves as this is all going on. You're getting the pressure on bot side now as Elk looking for the all-in. BLG want to go for the dive. Yeah, happy to take tower shots for that play as Yagao moves on. Oh, the bubble is beautiful. And that is just gorgeous play from BLG. Oh, he arrives, but it's too little too late. Perfect timing as well. This was the way. I mean, Seo just cannot catch a break. The CS lead is absurd. The amount of plate cell can get level five. is absurd. And now Sean wants to go for another dive. Kicked into the wave. And my goodness, this is a tidal wave of pressure to the bottom side. This isn't even fair. The man is still level five. He doesn't have the oak available. Yes, he has the flash, but kick into the wave. You're CC for days. There's no hope of you surviving that. Really nice stuff from BLG, but heartbreaking for the LLA representative. I mean, hey, lane tower. This is brutal. Oh, Bin oh. and Bong in a 1v1, and it's Gigabin in the top side to find his solo kill. Bin finding big spike, right? Pollution army. Well, they're feeling mythic today, that's for sure. Bin could oh. be in trouble as Bong getting the damage out, but he's not quite. He oh, he turns it around! Bong the rips him apart! The axe has come down. Almost 2,000 gold from places. Oh. oh my days! What is that damage onto Lions and the flash burn as well? I mean, <laughs> here as well as Bin going into the bot side. Oh, here we go. 1v1 once again. Bin versus bot. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> he flies over the wall. And obviously the Ragnarok denies it. And there's a pick in the jungle onto Shun as well. R7 finding their moment. Oh, Oddy, wait, the culling. Oh my days. Lions managing to block it. In the meantime, Bin could be in trouble, but Yagao moving over. Miru's here. It's a 2v2 between the solo laners, but Bin nowhere near the play right now. Yagao's alone. He doesn't have that much damage to work with. It's two tanks, and this Olaf will shred them. Yagao in trouble. Wait a second. Is there? Bin gets the churn on through the health bars. Bond goes down. Miru next on the chopping block, and BLG with a straight up hand stiff. That is not allowed. How did they go in with a better? Fantastic. Oh, oh hang on. We're going back to life because Mirror's already gone down. Oddy next on the chopping block. The tidal wave is perfect once again. And Seo, you're going nowhere on this one. Elf with the chase down. Bong next. Look at the damage out from Elf. That is obscene. That was absolutely disgusting. And now BLG, they just get to push in mid. There's absolutely no way that R7 can try and fight back against this. And once more, Rift Hell is going to be started up by Shun. So now instead of looking for tier twos a lot of the times with this Rift Hell, they can maybe crack up the base. Wait, what? It's CC immune. He's going for the 1v3 play, but I'm not sure he's got the damage to pull that one off. Elk finishes the job. In fact, Yagao getting the kill hit. Yagao's got four kills on Nautilus, by the way. <laughs> what a lad. I am loving the fact that we're getting to see this Nautilus more and more. Even though we don't have the regular setup that we expect, it's still looking great. I just want to mention, been in the interview before. Looks like Billy BLG is just a step a bit too far for them. I have to see as Miru got to be jumped on. Well, Elk certainly has damage to finish this one off, and Yagao flashes for the hook. Lions in a little too late. Good to demolish proc. Actually, BLG back it away, not wanting to tank the tower, waiting for that minion wave to finish the job as Bong just gets a chunk taken out of him. And I feel like Elk has always been an aggressive AD carry. He's giving us a case study on how to play Lucian Nami. Control, BLG are willing to scrap for that Baron Control. They don't necessarily need complete vision dominance. They're looking, they're happy to use that Baron to start a fight. Looks like that's exactly what they're going to do now. This Baron will not go down particularly quickly with the composition that they have, but they also will lose a huge amount of health trying to take this Baron as well. You can see the blistering pace that that health bar is going down at. Oh, tired of wave comes across the enemy team as Yagao moves forward. Seo's there. Elk just shredding Bong right now. Featherstorm already comes on through, but Shun's gone too deep. Perhaps a chance for R7 as they find a pick onto the jungler, but they're answered with their own. And a hook from Yagao sets up for the double. And Elk making R7 look like a deer in headlights. Yagao with another as Bong has given up on the situation. Triple kill comes through for Elk. Miru is the only one to escape, and BLG will return immediately back towards the big purple worm. Again, 
the ability to just start off these fights. It's turnover. Everyone apart from Bin has a way to get over the wall. And even he's willing to invest in Flash to make that happen. So BLG just able to make the play work. I think it's fair to say that right now, Billy Billy are gaming. They are absolutely game. 8 0 and 6 on L. 5 0 and 7 on Yagao. And you know, we talked about. I said in Champ Select foolishly that this Nautilus towards that Miracle Fight, they got to pick on Shun in the previous one. Man, I don't know if a Miracle Fight's even going to happen. I'm not funny there, but maybe here. Almost a pick on to Elk, but it's Oddy to go down instead as the Cullen comes on through. And it will be our seven that are cold. Bin comes out on the backside. Miro kicked into the team. Does find Elk, but the healing is there and keeps himself alive. Bin zoning the squad. As Bong now chasing down Elk, Elk just like looking for the next contender as he takes them down one by one. His whole squad just bounces and he's chilling in the club. It's two next towers going down. It's a 26 minute victory for BLG and a dominant entrance to MSI. A welcome to BLG to the international stage. They're looking down. A lot of scaling on this side, but not that much presence early on. Yeah, Audi has to basically find ways to deal with the pressure that BLG are going to want to put down. If you get to the late game, or 7 just have a, so much damage that can go through. They have some decent engage with the Rakan, but Rakan generally wants to be kind of a secondary engage tool, not just trying to put the pressure down here. Shun's going to be seen. Yagao going to be seen. Sayo gets caught by the spear. Shun already starting as he means to go on. Just hammering away. Sayo sidesteps the spear, sidesteps the shock blast, but forced to flash away. It's a big moment for BLG, starting as they mean to go on. Leave Sayo alone. What has he done to BLG? Every single game, he's just been the focus of BLG's attention the entire way through, already getting a flash from this Aphelios and putting a lot of pressure on Adi as well. You're saying, what has he done? But this is Shun's jungle. For anyone that's not watched Shun play League of Legends before, both jungles are his jungle. Oddy has no right to be here near Shun's second romp. Speaking of, Shun's actually going to go for the 1v1, but it ain't a 1v1! And Oddy says, no! That's my romp! He storms the castle and takes it back. Oddy getting the... Has been a shining light for them in the mid lane all year long. Now doing it on the international stage as Oddy moves up to punish Bin for overstepping. Forces the flash out. Red buff in play as Bin tries to go for the all in, but he's all out of plays on this one. And Oddy finds his second of the game. And the LLA is still alive in this one. Or seven coming out swinging in this early. Revenge for what's happened in the previous game, but he doesn't know that Shun's behind him. It's a great spear onto Lions. Oddy. Nowhere near. Oddy's currently in the top lane tri -brush. He's trying to make a play on the opposite side of the map. It's the way. Finally crashes, but Shun's already done it. Who needs to dive when you can kill him before the minions even arrive? The Polymorph denies everything as Elk grabs himself a kill. In the meantime, Bin goes down for the counterplay of R7. And that's the second time now Oddy's got up to that top side. Finally give him Bong a little bit of help, and it's coming at dividends for two. Guy pulls him in and forces the Flash. Miru wants solo kills. Shun could be in trouble as he's going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Spider versus Kuga. Who wins it out? It's the Spider so far. Shun dives back in to find his solo kill. As on actually denies the solo kill, gets an assist for himself there. Miru, though, can't bully when there's three people in his lane. Still going to put a lot of damage on towards on here. Slow lane up there. I want to kind of take stock. I'm not going to have a chance because Yagao getting pulled back, knocked up, and burnt. Down! Miru brings a soul, the new version, for the first time ever at an international, and he shows up huge. Shun next as the target, but he will walk away with his life. B08 Elk, go for Seo. Now a dive at the board beside Seo. He's got a bit of damage himself. Elk gets out of tower range only just. And it's just going to be more plates. It's more cyberbullying in the bottom lane. I mean, it was very close to being the turnaround for Sale, but the polymorph means that he can get no damage off what But BLG are in position. Oh, he's taking a bit of a chunk there as Shun does finish the Herald off. Bin, Bin flashing over the wall to look for Oddy. He's got a two level advantage. The Cocoon finds a little bit of time for Oddy, but can he survive? The Dominus in play, but he gets a bit of healing. The Rocket just shy. And now an opportunity for Bong instead. It's a kill for Lions as Bong flashes over to Shun. Dodges away from the knockup. Now trying to position his Yagao. Re enters the play. Bong over the wall. 
And it's tense to about defying expectations, oh right? My well, God. Miru oh. is doing it in the mid lane again. Yagao walks away with his life shot, trying to save the day. As Yagao goes back in, the wild growth saves the day. And Miru bites off more than he can chew. He had the flash, but there was nowhere safe anymore. Again, pushed underneath the bot lane turret. No help is coming. This turret is going to belong to the world. All in, though. They don't want any help. They want the 2v2 themselves. Red and white means let's fight. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't work out. Elk doesn't care what color your weapons are. His is pink. Red, white, and it's good night for the bot lane of R7. BLG managing to get the kill. And now actually looking towards the mid lane as well. Shun hovering around. Miru, he's in trouble. Yeah, the spear lands. Yagao going in. Look at the burst from this combo from BLG. It doesn't matter how the early game went. Yagao back in the picture now with a serrated Dirk. Ben in the meantime, just trying to buy space and time for his team as Oddy moves up. This is going to be a lot of back and forth. Ben just going to step away back underneath his own turret. Neutral flick back and the all out. Could have been a disaster for him, but BLG off that play will still get the terror mid as Oddy looking towards top. I think Bin's in all kinds of trouble right now. The Dominus is just timed out. Oddy misses the stun though. Bin take it down anyway. Bong happy to tank up. In fact, Oddy tanking the tower for the time being. But Lion's moving. Need that primary engage tool. And even getting enough vision control down to try and find the flank is necessary. Four Bong, four Lion. It's there. Oh my god. Where'd he go? That's half of his HP off of his spear from Shun. I saw the rocket missing. The spear was hidden underneath it. <laughs> Enough time or space to buy when BLG owned the siege potential with how long range there. Oh, Bong's in trouble here. Shun getting his combo off the wild growth to find the knockup. All out pulls Bong out away from the team and uh, still goes down anyway. Is Oddy now going to chase down by Elk? The Gale Force there. Repel doesn't quite get him to safety as this rocket will connect. But a comet from the sky to turn it around for Miru. Sayo alongside his mid laner. They're trying to survive, but Bin wants redemption, gets his stun, and Shun there to finish the job. Surely this spear lands, and Bin gets himself onto the scoreboard as Elf wants a little more. These spears are absurd, and Shun knows it's his debut, knows he wants to show up. It's hunting season for Elk. And he's managed to catch himself a dragon. BLG now with Rich out and Toe. They want to end the game. And they might just do it. I mean, G2 finished the game yesterday. In there. You win your lane, and then that guy comes back and kills you later. Like, <laughs> yeah. screw this, I'm done. And Vong, he might be done for as well. He might just be. Shun has the damage. He's a big old Nidalee at this point. The all out, not going to be enough here. Is the dash away from Shun. A bit more long range follow up is there. The stun from Bin to set up for Shun to go legendary. And a, a legendary debut performance from Shun. His first ever finals in the LPL this year. His first ever international tournament. And it might be his first ever international win if they can keep it up. A good little knock-up though. A pick found. And perhaps more for R7. Moonlight Vigil wide as Mirror charges out onto Elk. But Elk is charging back. The damage fires through the reset. And Elk takes them down. The confidence from Elk. And the follow-up from Shun, he wants to make sure that R7 go right the way back to the base. Now two inhibitors down as the 20-minute mark is crested. I think we might have a moment here, Dagda, to breathe before BLG try and finish things off once again. Oddy moving over, though. Perhaps could find an opportunity for a steal onto this Baron. 4k on the health bar, and I don't think the DPS is stopping. They're challenging Oddy. They're saying, come on into the pit. We welcome you. He got and he takes it anyway. Oddy finds his moment, takes the Baron away. The silver lighting there, as it means that R7 is up at 30 seconds, but I really don't think BLG are going to worry about that one too much, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of funny to see that R7 are actually up 300 gold in their Red Bull Baron power play so far, managing to, that Baron alone, kind of mitigating some of the lead. Say, oh, in trouble, and the rocket threads the needle. Elk looking for more double as he charges into the base. The tower's down, and Elk sees his moment. The coming from the skies, triple in. Yagao to set it up. Elk makes it to the international stage for the first time ever, and it's denied. <laughs> the setup was there. I just says, not a hope boy, this is-